Oh, look at that. Oh, hello. Oh, new cutlass. Look at this. Wow, it is shiny. Oh, it looks so good, though. Wow. I'm not finding it on the website yet. I don't think it's up for sale yet. It is not available yet, unless you're. Oh my God! <laughs> look at this thing. Let me let me get a look at those side guns real quick from the outside here. Go for it. <laughs> There's so many guns. Oh, actually, just... hang hang tight right there. Okay. I'm going to. It it's just so fucking cool what they did with this. Hold on. Okay. Let me uh. Oh. <laughs> That's so cool, wow. Independent of the doors. <laughs> oh my god. How this... much ammo do you get with them? Like, how much... I have no idea, because the display does not tell you. But, Whoa. there is an ammo counter on the side. Like, there's that ammo box on the side. So yeah, that rear one is the only one that is, stays within the ship. Wow, yeah, but then you imagine how cool it would be. The rear door gunner on this with the view you've gotten. <laughs> Oh yeah. Who gets the um? Who gets the remote turret? Co-pilot. Co oh my god, that's insane. So the co-pilot could be your missile operator. They could be your rear gunner. The the coverage to of the rear uh, turret like has such a good view. Sorry, ask your question. Oh no no, I was just curious. So you've actually got a bus one here. It's doors open and close, and then you've got a separate button for deploying and retracting the guns. Wow. Now now if you deploy the turrets. Okay. It's Ooh. like, why not both? <laughs> <laughs> then you are ready to rock. <laughs> I've been using the door gun on the Valkyrie quite a bit, and the arc on that is quite limited. This feels like it's got a bit more freedom in the arc. You can relive that moment from Indiana Jones and shoot your own ship. <laughs> Like, so on the Valkyrie, one thing that really annoys me, which they have fixed here, is that, like, the Valkyrie's gun is on, like, a little arm, right? And it looks like you could step out a lot further and extend that arm out further on the Valkyrie than it allows you to. On this, you can actually see where you do move with Your the gun. Your character practically yeah. steps off the ship. <laughs> that, this here, yeah. this view here. And, like, like that is, like, you are, you are putting a lot of faith in the, uh... <laughs> your pilot there. You got your. Oh, you got a, You can do inland sights as well. Okay. Have you fired it till empty before? No. But feel free to do it. Oh, I'm gonna give it a go. Okay. So. Look, this is this is a lot of continuous fire. To be fair. Like maybe it is unlimited because like. I, 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 I think it is limited, but I think there's more than your typical uh, door gun, only because with the side-mounted ammo box. I am no Unless joke. Right I am no joke in love. <laughs> <laughs> so what about up front? But the then? dragonfly does fit back here uh, relatively comfortably, but you have no margins. So you still got your usual turret. You got the normal turret. You got your beds. And you got your pilot and co-pilot, and the co the co-pilot now has. Oh, let's take a look at this. Ah, wow. Oh my god. I can see. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's got a decent range of motion. Yeah, this is all about a ton of suppressive fire. <laughs> like, having, like, door guns, right, is one of those just cool things. It's just always going to be cool. And riding on a door gun is, like, amazing. On the Valkyrie, the door guns, actually, they, they kind of, they're not facing sideways. Like, they, you think they are, but, like, because they're on the angle of the ship. Yeah. We, yeah. What we found is if we told the pilot, like, face, like, the port side towards the target, you still don't get the angle with those door guns because they're slightly facing backwards. Yeah, this feels like you've got a much better field of fire to the side of the ship. It is. I, ha you know what? I haven't done a scan on it, but it, it's, uh, it at least has the exact same shield as a cutlass two, uh, as a cutlass black. So a single size two shield. So it's like uh, not so great, but <laughs> we'll double do. So I mean, on the positive side, looking at it as a strength, it will motivate your ground troops <laughs> to get off quickly. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> How do you... so this one you also have to deploy. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Go to the door control. Yeah. Oh, oof, nice. Eek, this is cool. 
<laughs> the highest value in you, you can basically think of that in meters is your is how far you can be detected. So right right now I have a cross section of uh, of twenty thousand. Uh, my EM right now is a seventeen thousand, and then my IR is uh, eight thousand. Now my EM is fluctuating because my my shields like they, like they they now fully charged, it's dropping down a little bit. It's uh, it's a seventeen thousand six hundred. You know, okay, I'm sorry to keep fawning over this thing, but um, the gunner animations, like, I was looking, in, I was doing some little, getting some third person shots just then, and um, the, oh, I, the gunner animations are so good. Like, it's it's what I wanted to see from the Valkyrie, but the Valkyrie just doesn't have it, and it looks so good. That <laughs> this could, no joke, become, like, our dropship. I mean, obviously, performance dependent. Like, it yeah. depends on how... But what I mean by that is, how often do we just die because of the poor shields? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, oh my god. Force effect just grabs me. Maybe I was at the edge of the turret's kind of, like, allowance. Well, hang on. Well, hang on. Maybe if I smash the brakes. Okay, I'm pulling... This is five... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. There we go. Okay, interesting. Interesting. So, okay. <laughs> Gotta be careful as the pilot. <laughs> I guess with the force effects... Yeah, the pilot will have to be, be careful with the G's that they pull on the way yep. in. I thought that the gun on the Inferno was satisfying. <laughs> this is way more satisfying, I have to admit. Because well, I this think one you, can, you hold in your hands. <laughs> I, I still am just taking it slow, trying to be a responsible pilot. Nice, nice and slow, just in case. Still going. Uh, its max speed is like 900 and change. It's not that fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, okay, okay. That definitely knocked me on my ass. <laughs> the promotional video that they that they did for this way it's like hovering uh, over like one of the jump town things, just just all guns blazing. Looked yeah. I goddamn <laughs> epic. Like I don't know how realistic that is with the shields it's got. It feels like if you're moving that slowly with it, you you you're really really at risk of getting hit by something that can that can take you out. But if, um, if you're against infantry only, and uh, especially in this day and age where you have to be prepared, uh, now, I haven't seen too many people just hauling around railguns for absolutely no reason. Under most circumstances, it's probably going to be super, like, legitimately effective against just areas with only infantry. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I saw that. <laughs> I, was, I was in first person. I don't know how close they came, but that felt extremely close. <laughs> I feel like not all of your arms and legs were inside the vehicle at that time. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, you get in like entry effects. Yep. Because I can sort of see. The, oh yeah, I can see the glow of it from the from the door here. Oh, that's real cool. Wow. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh god. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you... oh, no. <laughs> oh god. I... Okay, that was only three Gs that time. <laughs> oh my god. Shit, where's so your funny. body? I am like, I oh, have... there's no way you're going like, to catch me. It's fine. Like, I don't mind. But um, okay. that was hilarious. This, one, yeah. this is, this is, this is um, like, useful, right? To know because, like, clearly. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, I hit the ground. Yeah. But cle <laughs> clearly, it will be a consideration for pilots, like like a safety consideration that... Um... Uh, yeah. So, so for, for your information, that was just shy of a sustained 3G. Mm, and that okay. was that looked like it was too much. Or <laughs> three, or maybe even a month before 316.1 drops, and then we get the derelicts. Derelicts sound, yeah, that sounds intriguing. I mean, obviously I don't have any, any details on them, but it sounds intriguing to me. I think we yeah. could make a lot of use of this, for sure. Yep. For people like me and you, the I'll call us the screenshot obsessed. Getting good camera angles can be quite tricky, right? Yes, it is. Like, I love how much it like lights you up as well, you know? Like you get Especially real... with this weather as well and everything was like <laughs> it's the snow in the atmosphere, yeah. <laughs> screenshot that, my god. Definitely screenshot that. <laughs> oh I can't yeah, I'm gonna have to rely on you to do it. Because I can't go third person when I'm in the uh, remote turret. 
Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure we get some good screenshots. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. Ooh, there it goes. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. Five of those, the rear turret gun, the top turret, and then the pilot weapons. Jesus Christ, that's insane. That's in <laughs> so that's technically six, like seven gunners and the pilot. Yes. Like, so technically that's more crew than a hammerhead, like, in terms of... Oh my god, you're right! <laughs> For a ship that is a fraction of the size with a fraction of the defensive capability. <laughs> insane.